you get shy? I don't know if I should do this if you're going to get shy. Are you doing it right now? Are you filming? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I do have a couple questions to ask you. Okay, what were you going to ask me? Uh, well, who are you? Uh, you want my real name? Yeah. Renee. Renee who? Goff. This is the famous Renee Goff we've been hearing the about. The infamous, as I understand it. And you, you live in... Uh, Marin County. Well, I've heard of Marin County. Mm -hmm. We want it all now. You've heard that? Yeah, and you all have hot tubs, right? Right. Uh -huh. And uh, you all get in these hot tubs we all, we together, all right? We all get in and hang in there together, right? No, actually we don't. Not anymore. That's passe. Ah. Along with the uh, feathers and the hot oil. That's all And the leather sandals, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, leather's in. <laughs> Different kind of leather. And uh, you have a husband, right? He's, he's some no. kind of a famous person. No. Not that I know of. You don't have a husband. No. This, this fellow, Isaac. I have two children. <laughs> oh, you mean their father. Oh, yes. Right. Yes. No, we are actually still married. I guess you could say I have a husband. How do you like your husband? Is he a good guy? We get on very well together. Good. For the most part. <laughs> Though he might tell you differently. But you wouldn't believe that. Would you? Uh, I'll, I'll go and ask him. That's the best plan. Uh, I have a couple of questions to ask you. Ask away. This is kind of a serious question. How did you feel when you got the word that Bob Huck had passed away? That is a serious question. I felt sad for myself. And for my kids, I felt sad for all of us, and I'll miss Papa. And I, I think about him a lot, and I hear his voice now in Lottie Han, especially like last night's Lottie Han. I it was almost like he was testing us, and I could hear him saying, "Go on, go on," when we would pause, or a lull would happen in the Lottie Han. But I also feel that his mission couldn't be complete without his departure, because I think his mission depends upon us carrying it forth and taking what he's taught us and taking the Ladihan forth. And I, I think we were all too dependent upon him. And I'm happy for Bapak that he's free of the cares of this world. And um, can't help but think he must be happy where he is. You lived in Indonesia for a while, right? For two years. Yeah. Did uh, do you have any experiences with being with Bapak or with the family over there that you'd like to share with us? Well, at one point I became really ill. Indonesia. I had uh, really, there's some people making fun of me over there. I had some serious heart palpitations. So I had a heart condition and it um, became, you know, kind of more manifest there because of the heat and different things. Anyhow, at one point, my heart was palpitating really badly and I, I went to bed. And uh, this was in the evening. This was just after Isaac had left to work at Anugraha. And uh, I was feeling really alone and really frightened, and I, my heart was, I could see it pounding, and pounding very erratically. And so the next morning, a friend of mine came over, Salama Dick, and uh, I told her I was really sick. And she called Tutti to ask for uh, Bapa's uh, cardiologist. And Tutti came by that morning, <coughs> and I actually had an experience where I thought I was dying. I could feel my but I consider me leaving my body. And Tutti and Salama were doing Ladi Han for me. And then it, it all sort of came back, and I was okay again. And, and whereas it had been all cold, now it was warm. Anyhow, um, Tutti later in the day went to ask Bapa for uh, you know, something. I guess she just was telling him that she was going to come and see me. And Bapa stopped and said, tell her not to be afraid. Um, 
And of course, that was what was happening for me. It was a lot of it was uh, fear that was uh, making making my heart pound a lot. But anyhow, um, after that, Baba sent me a raja. I don't know if people know what rajas are, but what Baba apparently, from what I understand, Baba would receive some help for you for the person's spirit uh, and possibly for their body too, I don't know. I don't understand it. But what he would do is he would write something on a paper and it sounds strange, but then you would burn this paper in a glass and you would drink this water over a period of days, replenishing the water if you need to. And I can't really say if the Raja helped me. I certainly improved. But to me, what was so touching was that Baba would take the time to do that and to receive from me something and send it to me. And that Tutti would come and be um, involved also. And Tutti is a great sister. I feel, I think of all the family, I feel closest to Tutti. She's. Uh, She's just a deer and has a great sense of humor. She can be serious, but she's, you know, full of fun. Anyhow, so that's an experience that you have now. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Anything else you would like to add or any message you want to give to anybody while you're on tape here? Just keep doing your lottie hunt. That's it. Thanks.